Good morning, I'm Nathan with the AARP Cheese. We're at day two at Gen Con, and we're here with uh, Brian Holland from Chaosium. Hey, thanks for coming by. Uh, really happy to be here. This is our first real kind of interaction with you, so we're excited yeah, yeah. to hear what it's, you it's, it's happening live right now. That's right. It's, how, how is it for you so far? That's good? It's been great. Uh, <laughs> I meant this interaction. So <laughs> so far, so good. You've you're, you're <laughs> been very accommodating. Oh, we're, we're excited to talk to uh, not only Brian, but a few other folks from Chaosium. Uh, Chaos has been around for a long, long time. Yeah, yeah. I want to say uh, in 2025, the company will be 50 years old. That's amazing. So it's it's actually a legacy company, you know, along like lanes of TSR and D&D, &D, uh, like RuneQuest, which is was one of our first games, yep. um, which is the oldest games, is, is, is up there with that legacy. So there's a lot of people that have a big nostalgia for it. A lot of people have been playing it for longer than I've been alive. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Yeah, so what are the things that, that you, you're most excited about that you guys are showing this year? All right, well, the big, big thing is, uh, so uh, RuneQuest, talking of RuneQuest, which is our Bronze Age Mythic Fantasy game, uh, this, uh, today we are launching, today, yesterday, this weekend, we are launching our uh, Cults of RuneQuest subline, which is essentially a book of player, uh, a series of player handbooks which expand your character creation and character advancement options. Okay. Um, they are player-facing books, and they're... Filled, packed to the brim with lore, like this thing behind me is the cover of, uh, of one of them. Each one is, uh, you know, RuneQuest, we'll talk about it later, but yeah. RuneQuest is all about the different uh, gods, and the gods are actually real, and magic is real, and it's so, it's, it's, uh, if we were to talk about it in the parlance of some other games, it, essentially these are a whole suite of character classes, essentially, okay. so that's a big deal, and it's been selling really well because, um, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's an easy on point for people to get into the game, which is uh, hectically violent, really deep, uh, and super, really, it's a great way to like lose your imagination. Um, the other thing we have uh, this weekend, so were you going to ask me something? Yeah, no, 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 go for it. The other thing we have is our um, basic role-playing universal game engine core book. Now, the basic role-playing engine is what powers pretty much all of our games here at Chaos. I mean, if you've played Call of Cthulhu or RuneQuest or Rivers of London or Pendragon, that's yeah. the low, roll low D100 system. Uh, the BRP is that system, and what we've released is a core book that is just that engine with no setting. So you can use the tools in there to create any game of your own imagination, of your own setting, or a pre-existing IP that maybe doesn't have a role-playing game. You can do whatever you like. It's also under the Orc license, so you can use that engine to create your own RPGs and sell it for free. So, so third part, pretty open third party license and, and yeah yeah that's that's exactly right so it's awesome. all it's under the York license so we'll we'll show you that uh, really soon yeah. I guess yeah. <laughs> yeah we'll have that coming up so yeah. so stick around. Uh, anything else? I hear there's a new board game. Uh, yes. Yeah, so the other thing we're showing here is the Horror on the Orient Express board game prototype. Uh, so those of you who are familiar with Call of Cthulhu would have heard of the uh, epic campaign written by Mark Morrison, Horror on the Orient Express. It's being turned into a board game um, by the same creative minds behind the board game Nemesis. Okay. Those of you who saw that, that was about a 5 million euro Kickstarter back in 2018. Uh, so you'll see that as well. You get to speak to some of the designers and uh, hopefully everyone gets super excited, joins the newsletter and doesn't miss any uh, upcoming news. Yeah, I, I'm excited to talk to some of your uh, other folks here. Anything else uh, you want to leave us with? Before no, we... no, they just, uh, other than that, just uh, if you're not following Chaosium Inc. on social media, make sure you do that. We're Chaosium Inc. everywhere. Um, and yeah, uh, what we like to say is uh, wherever you are, sleep soundly because <laughs> yeah. the nightmares are coming. They are. They're, they're good, here. Good nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to uh, be right back with some other folks. So uh, stick around for a second. We'll be right here.